All right, everybody. So now let's summarize and compare all Tableau sharing products side by side. The first point about hosting. Tableau server can be hosted in your organizations or in cloud service providers like Azure or Amazon. Both Tableau Cloud and Tableau Public Cloud are hosted by Tableau Team. Tableau Reader will just be software installed at your PC. You can't even host it. Now, if you are talking about the cost, for Tableau Server, you have to pay for licenses, hardwares, and maintenance. But in Tableau Cloud, you have only to pay for the licenses. Tableau Public and Tableau Reader are free to use. Now, if you check the data security aspects, both Tableau Server and Tableau Cloud are highly secure. Tableau Public and Reader, they are not. Next point is about the storage limitations. In Tableau Server, it really depends on the server disk space. In Tableau Cloud and Reader, there is no limitations, but in Tableau Public Cloud, the total size available for each account is only 10 gigabytes. The next point about the connectors, Tableau Server and Cloud can be connected to different types of sources like cloud, API, services, files, databases, and so on. But Tableau Public Cloud and Tableau Readers, they cannot be connected directly to any of your source systems. Let's jump to the next point, automation. In Tableau Server and Cloud, you can schedule tasks to refresh your data inside your dashboards automatically from the source systems. But the data inside Tableau Public Cloud and Reader cannot be refreshed. You have to do it manually, you have to republish it or to resend the file. The next point about Tableau Mobile, you can connect your smartphones or tablets only to Tableau Server or Tableau Cloud. And now to the last point, we can use Tableau Server and Cloud to share dashboards inside organizations. Tableau Public is used to share dashboards to the whole world and Tableau Reader is used to share dashboards directly to individuals. All right, so now with this, we have an overview of all Tableau sharing products. So now the question is, when to use which product? So let me guide you in my decision-making process following this chart. All right, first, we ask all questions about the limitations inside Tableau Public Cloud. The first question, can data be public? If the answer is yes, then we ask the next question, should the data be frequently refreshed in the reports and dashboards? If the answer is no, then you can go and use Tableau Public Cloud. But if the data should not be public and should be refreshed automatically, then we have to think about private hosting. So the question now, do you want to manage the hardware? If yes, then you can use Tableau Server on on-premises at your organization. But if you don't want to do that and you want to outsource it, then you ask the next question. Do you want to manage the software on your own? But if the answer is yes, then you can use again Tableau Server. But this time it's going to be hosted in cloud service provider like Microsoft Azure in IaaS service model. But if the answer is no, you don't want to manage the software by yourself and you want to outsource it, then you can go and use Tableau Cloud as a SaaS service. As you can see, Tableau Reader is not in my decision-making process since I don't recommend it at all. So now, if you combine this flowchart with the one that we built previously for developers tools, you will get my whole decision-making process that I usually use when I start a new Tableau project. So if somebody asked you when to use which Tableau product, you can go through it and find the right combinations for you or for your company. All those materials, you can find it in my website. All right, everyone. So with that, we have covered all eight Tableau products and we understood the differences between them. In the next chapter, we will learn the Tableau architecture to understand how Tableau internally works and what are the main components of Tableau. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.